I slipped on some ice and broke one of my backpack beers. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. I'm forced to nymph today. We need to talk about something. So let's talk about dry flies. I only fish dries. Pinky out. A lot of huge fly fishermen I know aren't using floating and dry shake properly. You've got to pay attention to what you're doing. When you tie on a brand new fly, it is dry. You put the floating on it, apply liberally, it makes it sort of waterproof. Eventually it's gonna start to sink. That's when you use the dry shake. Keep using the dry shake until the fly just doesn't want to float anymore. Then you tie on a new fly and start all over again. You guys aren't using floating, right? Floating. Dry shake. It's a two part system. Do not put floating on a fly that is wet. It will do nothing. If you're gonna be a dry fly snob, please do it right. Dry or die, bro. That fish was not caught on a dry fly. Been here two hours, finally saw one rise. I have no intention of actually fishing dry flies today. No, seriously, I love nymphing. It's awesome. Oh, I'm a huge nymphing. Might as well talk about buffs too. What does that have to do with dry flies? Nothing. Are you guys into buffs? I'm a huge buffer. A lot of people don't know this, but buffs are actually for camouflage. They help you blend in with your environment so the fish don't see you. They're more likely to eat that way. So the more, the better. More buffs, more fish. Is this gonna help me catch more fish? And of course, they look cool too. Matching your buff with any other part of your ensemble is highly encouraged. This one's extra long in case you need to compensate for something. So hit up your buff sponsor. You could be a huge buffer too. Start buffing. I just dropped my sunglasses in cow poop. Don't forget your buff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Just so you know, I was actually serious about all that floating and dry shake stuff. Fly fishing hacks. You're a hack. It's not a hack. It's just the right way to do it.